it was the same people. He was a, uh, a backup plan. He was their biggest threat, being the most conservative justice. Uh, and Justice Scalia, uh, actually, uh, I believe he found out about this, the, the plans, and he went to the White House like a week before his death. I believe he found out what they were trying to do. When they moved uh, away from the overall attack of where these people lived, or uh, you know, they would attack around the holidays when more than one justice would be in their home, things like this. And again, Roberts was providing this, but uh, they had to take him out. He was seen as their biggest obstacle. So the same basic group that was involved were uh, given access uh, to the ranch where he was found. Uh, they talked about how they did it. They had a couple different options, but it was discussed prior to his death what they intended to do, where they could possibly do it, how they could do it, who they would need. Uh, the records are there at the uh, Seabull Ranch. Uh, one person was brought in, as, there was three men, one person was brought in as a tent worker. The other two, same team, were brought in as servants from a group that was there hunting. And uh, they discussed how it was done, uh, that uh, they used dim so and methyl suboxide, which is a, a fairly inert chemical, just goes through your skin. But if you mix it with a poison or a drug or something like that, it'll go directly in your system and overload you. I believe that's why he was found with the pillow over his face. He was struggling to breathe. He couldn't breathe, he was choking. And this particular chemical you can tailor to the person. If they have a drug problem, you can put fentanyl in it and overdose them. If they have a heart condition, it would take very little to go directly in. It'd be like a direct injection into the heart. And uh, they, uh, they talked about how they did it. And the Roberts is on the phone uh, with these people discussing the uh, successor. And he wanted a say in it because now it was only going to be one person. He wanted to pick that person. And he wanted a say in who was going to take it. And of course, there was a lot of people that were talking about Eric Holder taking it, all kinds of people. But he wanted a say in who was going to take over uh, Justice Scalia's spot. And uh, I don't think he got it. I mean, obviously it didn't happen because uh, President Trump was here. But uh, he, he did want it, and this was all prior to discussions and him complaining that he wasn't getting any say prior to his death, his sudden death. So it's well known. And so aside from the, aside from Roberts being waiting on this, did Rosenstein or anyone outside of the White House, had they been made aware of the plans, perhaps in Hillary's camp that you could speak about? Well, Hillary and Obama knew about it. I mean, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be done under her watch her mm -hmm. first term so that they could pack the court. They were fully aware of it. Uh, Rod has an intense hatred of Hillary, even though he worked with him and he had to. He's not fond of Obama, really. He's only fond of himself. But this was plans that they enacted through them, and Rod was integral in running the hammer system through Baltimore, 